I want to share how we read our car boat. Uh, we added the wheels. Uh, well, with the experience, we were debating how is the best way of keeping them. You keep them up left uh, with the engine, it interferes uh, when you make the thrust with the engine. Uh, second proposal uh, was adding a stick through, but also it interferes with the engine if you do a beach landing and you want to lift the propel, so this gets on the way. Uh, with the experience of doing several times, every time you clip, um, clip in the uplift position, uh, while you are on the way on the water, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it, it becomes a clumsy operation, especially if you are on the water on the way. So uh, our conclusion so far is the best way, especially when uh, we are doing short distances, is just. Uh, Leave them free on the way. Mm, remember, these are uh, these are floats. Uh, they just float freely. They do not interfere. And our experience so far is they do not make enough dragging to slow uh, the vessel uh, down. So, so far is the most practical way uh, leave them floating free. Uh, also, in all the true holes, uh, especially from the manufacturer, uh, they add some plates, uh, this protection uh, in the transom for the engine, plus these plates that they go through the true hole, uh, where they dig in the composite wood but water can come inside and start deteriorating and once the deterioration starts you cannot stop it and you might lose the whole unit it's, this will be very difficult uh, to fix so to prevent that uh, we add silicone in all the true holes and the added hardware pieces that we attach for the wheels we put silicone uh, the engine is more than uh, 60 pounds uh, heavy and is bouncing on the water. This place, even with the silicone and protection, came off. So the next uh, improvement that we're going to make is adding one more plate so that the weight in the transom uh, from the engine is distributed, preventing this place from coming off and water coming inside of the composite wood of the transom. Uh, we added a floor wood that you don't need tools to install or install. Uh, it's a better sensation when you're stepping in. It's very solid, very solid. Uh, adding a space uh, so that you still can uh, get through the uh, pumping stations to add air. Uh, the seats. Uh, we attach this extra uh, strap uh, that goes through the. We made a hole through the seat so that we could uh, fed uh, these uh, straps. Once you do it, you just attach, make it tight, and the seat it won't come off even if the boat capsizes upside down. It's totally attached. Uh, to the vessel. Moving forward, um, we have this uh, multi-purpose line for hauling, for a towing, uh, or for rescue uh, that we attach to the vessel. Capsize. In case of capsizing, that's um, very necessary for the recovery. Uh, we did it once. You cannot uh, recover uh, to upright position without extra hauling line. Uh, it is impossible. So this is something you need in your vessel. Uh, in the way, we have a one Velcro, Velcro system in the way that does not come unattached. Remember, uh, loose lines on the water, they are extremely, extremely dangerous. Uh, 
It can create two scenarios. One goes into the propeller, it damages your engine and you lost your propulsion, propulsion power. The other is an entanglement uh, hazard. If you capsize, if you are in the river, uh, this can drown you if it's not uh, have a, have, if you don't have a serious control system we have hit one velcro so that it won't come off and also is uh, quick to recovery on to take in case of you need for a rescue a rating system for the bicycles uh, we try many designs many possibilities on how to bring the bicycles uh, these are foldable bicycles, uh, but all the damage we had on the bicycles was from unfolding and unfolding and bringing on the raft. Uh, we came to the conclusion that the best way to bring them with us was totally uh, unfold and ready to go. All the damage on the bicycles came from transportation. Also, the damage on the raft comes from the bicycles directly to the raft. You don't want metal on the rubber. Uh, it was creating a lot of wear and tear on both the bicycles and the raft. So that's why we came with this design. Uh, we don't want a plastic cover uh, on the bicycles. Uh, remember you are uh, on the ocean or on the bay where there are high winds we don't want to create any involuntary kind of cell that uh, creates a f uh, force over the vessel that uh, you don't want uh, a cell that you don't want for your vessel so it has to they have to be on cover especially uh, in a raft as small as uh, this 50 footer uh, that's one criteria how we select it this way. Also, uh, we put them um, one facing forward, the other facing aft, so that they lean into the inside to each other, giving extra uh, rigidity. Uh, when stabilization by using the maneuvers uh, with one strap, without adding extra pieces of hardware, so the bicycle stabilizes to each other and in itself. Uh, the other point of contact is the velcro strap in each wheel and we have a kickstand uh, feature that we attach this little hole um, where prevents the bicycle from moving forward or aft so it really locks the bike very very well so it's one tire velcro tire velcro two and three and stabilization by the maneuvers. Four, each bicycle has four points of contact. Uh, so it's very solid. It won't come off, it won't come off. I cannot wait to test it uh, on the ocean, on the water. Uh, we'll tell you what happened. Uh, other features uh, that we add in this rigging system, uh, we use the seat itself uh, to attach to the vessel, uh, vessel in uh, the aft uh, part of the rigging system forward part of the rigging system you just go around the pneumatic chambers uh, also with with these straps so that you attach it uh, very very quickly uh -huh. you loosen it up you attach your rigging system you just tie and you're ready to go uh, in the design uh, we made it uh, with two characteristics one if you lose uh, the engine power do not interfere with the paddles you can still paddle and row so it keeps your alternative means of propulsion free does not interfere. Secondly, uh, it's sitting uh, not in the hauling system of the vessel. So these are free. You still can uh, handle the vessel the way it's supposed to work for attaching to the dock of towing. So these ones are free to access. They are 
they are not obstructed. true because the two characteristics uh, that we did in, with this design uh, one note uh, I know these bicycles are going to be exposed uh, to the salt water one product we're going to add is the next part of the project it's called a T9 uh, it's a spray uh, that Boeing manufactures it's rated for aviation so we know it's gonna work to prevent corrosion so it's gonna be a quote in these bicycles uh, besides the regular maintenance you have to spray everything off uh, with fresh water take the salt off and keep lubricated um, all the chains and mechanical parts in the rigging system uh, we use uh, hardware these uh, eye bolts then uh, to protect the wheels so that we prevent uh, metal to metal contact we attach simple uh, sponges to wash dishes with uh, these straps uh, all the hardware pieces of metal we don't want to mess with corrosion so we add silicone plus painting with plus another layer of uh, anti-corrosion spray uh, because the sponges themselves they're gonna keep humidity directly into the eye bolts that's why we took the precautions on coating with extra layers of anti-corrosion protection for these hardware pieces simple Think. And, and this design uh, we made it keeping uh, the bow of the vessel uh, access free you still can access uh, the vessel it's not interfering in case of a beach landing uh, that's why we did not use this area you have one entrance you can walk in and out uh, for beach accessing uh, or a situation where you have to access from the bow uh, to bring your passengers into the cabot so this is how we rig of cabot thank you very much